first of all, one very important recommendation is to choose a filler material which supplies maximum 5 ml to 100 gram well metal. And uh, normally you can find this type of information on uh, the package, the electrode package, or in uh, handbooks. For instance, the normal requirement of the welded joint, like strength and toughness, uh, should, uh, should normally meet the minimum requirement of the parent material. It's not always necessary to use matching filler material. Uh, welded applications uh, normally consist of several different steel grades in different strength levels. In those cases, for instance, if you weld the high strength steels towards the mild steel, it, you can no use a normal mild steel filler material and, and the failure will anyway way take place in the mild steel. For instance, we are, here we have an example where we have welded Dormex high strength steels in 6 mm thickness towards the mild steel in 10 mm thickness. And uh, after that we have performed a tens tensile test and as you can see, uh, even though this was welded with the mild st uh, steel filler material, the failure took place in the mild steel. Uh, the strongest filler material on the market today have a yield strength of about 900 MPa, which is about 300 to 500 MPa lower uh, than the strongest Wildox and Domex steels. So it's ex extremely important to locate the wells in low stressed areas in order to to utilize the full potential of these steels. What about hardox, which is our wear resistant steel? Uh, what type of filler material do we recommend for that? Uh, for hardox it's quite easy actually. We normally do recommend the filler material with the maximum yield strength of 500 MPa, uh, just in order to minimize the risk for hydrogen cracking.